I've been waiting an hour for breakfast, sister. What are we going to have? Hot cake, sausage, and soft boiled eggs, Claudie. Oh, boy. Oh, honey, where's my razor? I don't know, darling. What are you doing? Trimming me toenails. Is that my razor? You don't mind, do you? I want to read about the big heavyweight fight. How is uh, Lincoln getting along? None of your sarcasm. I know what you're referring to. You haven't seen the paper since Lincoln was shot. Sausage, Mother? Any more, Sister Hortense? Yes, Claudie, plenty. Oh, yeah? Someday you'll eat and drink so much it'll poison. going to be with us till Claudia gets something to do. Try to make their little stay more comfortable. Here, dear. Shall I open you another one? No. Open the window. Toothpicks, please. Bye, honey. But your breakfast, dear. I have not time. Would you mind leaving out uh, another quart? <clears throat> There's a fella coming to see me, and he might give me a job. <clears throat> You've used six quarts already, and you didn't get a job. Well, those fellas didn't show up. <laughs> All right, I'll... Uh... Maybe one more and it'll be in the usual place. Oh, thanks. shopping, Claudie. All right. In case you get hungry, dear, I sliced some ham. I just did it. Well, there's plenty more in the icebox. I'll get it. Bye. Goodbye, Bye. dear.
Hello, Hobbs. Hello, Joe. How are you? Not too bad. Going to fight this afternoon? Sorry, I can't make it. Or it's going to be a great fight. You know, the only real fight I ever saw was the Purple Dempsey fight. And that was a fistic cuffs in the raw. Why, this will make Purple and Dempsey look like a couple of dressmakers. I like to go, but I can't leave my work. I'll fix it for you. Me and your boss, Stevens, were just like that. Leave it to me, I'll fix it. Uh, pardon me, have you got two tens for a five? Uh, 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 two tens for a five? That's right. Uh, yes. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm phoning for Harold Hobbs. His brother-in-law just died. Yeah, he's so broken up he couldn't phone. Yeah, yeah, he's dead. He died very suddenly. Uh, I was just wondering, do you think it'd be all right if he took the afternoon off? Yeah, I told him he wouldn't mind. Thanks, old man, thanks. Everything is hotsy-totsy. Now, you better hurry, the fight starts at 2.30. Uh, thanks, Joe. You're welcome, old pal. Thanks. Yes, sir. Uh, oh, uh, by the way, Joe, uh, have you uh, two pies or ten? Uh, why, certainly. Well, okay, now I'll fix it with my ball. you think you're doing? Well, they've got me jammed in here pretty tight, officer. Why, there's nothing back here for a block. Oh, oh I'm so sorry. <laughs> you're cuckoo. Are 
You all right, officer? Over to the curb. So it's you again. Don't you ever put out your hand? Yes, sir. That's a little late, isn't it? Yes, sir. Pull over to the curb. Yes, sir. That was where I was heading for. Have you got your driver's license? I left it home. Well, where's your registration certificate? I guess my brother-in-law lost it. Have you anything to identify yourself? I guess I haven't. Can you guess where you're going? Yes, I'm going to the prize fight. You are going to the police station? Come on. How did that fella come out to jump the traffic signal? He didn't come out. <laughs> we socked it to him. He just happened to be one of those guys that I don't like. And after I talked to the judge, <laughs> he got plenty. What did he get? Six months in the cooler. Did he bump into a police car? No. <laughs> it's lucky for him he didn't. I'm sure Harold wouldn't do anything like that. No, he said this morning that he hoped the food would poison him. Oh. Well, what's this? Flowers for this address. Well, who's sending us flowers? Maybe it's Mother's Day. I'm dead. Oh, and he's sending me flowers already. Oh. I'm going to call Mr. Stevens and find out what's going on. Oh. Get a cheap doctor. Oh. Mr. Stevens? Mr. Hobbs there? He's off on the count of his brother-in-law's death. That's all I want to know. Harold even knew he was going to die. And he's probably left town. You give Claudie some castor oil while I go down here and phone the police for an ambulance. Oh. Now, Claudie, I want you to take this. Drink all of it. signal, ran into a police car, ran into a police motorcycle, no driver's license, no registration certificate, and failure to put out hand. Thirty dollars bail. Pay the clerk. Police station? Yes? Okay. Bill. Jim. Rush an ambulance, surgeons and detectives to that address. What's the matter? Some guy poisoned his brother-in-law. If it's mine, I hope it 
croaks. Kind of hard boiled, aren't you? You don't know my brother in law. Give him a sobriety test. Why, I haven't been drinking. I said a sobriety test. Well, I'm going to the fights. I haven't got time. Uh, you'd be surprised. Sobriety test. Sit in that chair. Walk that line. Dunk two, ten o'clock, Friday morning. One. How many? One. Have correct One. change, please. Two. One. You want mustard on it? Two. Mustard? you think Hobbs poisoned him? Because he never liked them. This morning at the breakfast table, he said something about the food poisoning them. Didn't he, Hawkins? Well, not exactly. Oh. Investigate this. Hello, dear. I'm home early today. What's this? You know what it is. Why did you do it? Do what? Poison in his liquor. I did not put poison in his liquor. Oh, you didn't, eh? Remember the crack you made, the hope he'd croak? Now, wait a minute. It wasn't poison. It was castor oil. Castor oil? Why, you dirty double-crossing... Uh, oh! 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 Yeah. Uh -huh. 